If we think about which public policies are best, and that includes in the energy sector, we often think about things like, uh, does the policy achieve its stated goals? Or does it achieve those goals at the lowest cost to you or I? But if we think about how governments actually go about making decisions, we often have a very different set of questions in our head. Questions like, does the policy capture the public imagination? Does it tend to benefit the interests of a particular firm or a particular industry over and above on another, or indeed over and above the interests of you and I? Or is the policy trying to shift the competitive advantage in ways that benefit domestic firms and harm the profitability of their international competition? And in the energy sector, that's the case whether we're talking about energy security, whether we're talking about the development of resources, or whether we're talking about mitigation and adaptation of climate change. Hi, I'm Llewellyn Hughes, and I'm here to give you a flavor of my course, The Politics of Energy Governance, that I teach here at the Crawford School. This is a course in positive political economy, and what that means is that we're going to try and understand the world the way that it is. Throughout the semester, we're going to consider a series of different explanations and the systematic evidence uh, associated with those explanations that focus on the kinds of choices that governments make in the energy sector. How much do uh, extreme weather events affect people's beliefs in the seriousness of climate change? And how much does public opinion really matter relative to scientific opinion when we're thinking about the kinds of choices that governments are making? How have we thought about the problem of energy security historically? And how do governments think about it today? And equally importantly, what kind of policies are they implementing today to manage energy security risks? These are the things that we're going to focus on during the semester and they're also the things that I consider in my own research. I've just completed a big book project which looks at the uh, regulation of oil markets internationally and particularly why we've seen the liberalization of oil markets globally over the last 20 to 30 years. Uh, I'm also starting a big project which looks at uh, international competition in electric vehicles and fuel cell vehicles and particularly how both industries and governments are trying to shape competitive advantage to improve uh, the position of their own companies. And I'm working on a project now which uses a lot of public opinion data from the United States and elsewhere to try and understand uh, the role of public opinion in our policy formation. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you uh, in my course, The Politics of Energy Governance.